All right, so first off, for anyone wondering why I'm doing this video from what appears to be the floor of my kitchen, um, which it is, uh, yeah, I did end up trying to go to the woods to shoot some videos in order to avoid all the bullshit traffic. And um, because the woods are pretty deserted, so it seemed like a plausible solution. But yeah, I ended, I ended up resting the camera up on some trees, and yeah, sure enough, the camera fell over, and now I can't retrieve any of my videos, which were saved on that camera and not anywhere else. Well, except for YouTube. But um, yeah, so I'm not taking my camera outside anymore. And in order to avoid all bullshit kinds of traffic noise, um, I'm just gonna do this video and all my other videos probably from now on from this little deserted part of my apartment because it's pretty fucking far away from the uh, balcony um, and the windows. So uh, hopefully this works out. I'm not sure if it will, but anyway, I'll upload it and uh, whatever happens, happens. Um, I think it's a decent enough angle. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I come back home today and I noticed that people are still talking about Islam and I guess this whole subject cropped up again because uh, Pat Condell did a video talking about the mosque situation, which coincidentally I read up about um, like a day before, briefly. Um, and um, yeah, there's a lot of outrage. And to be fair enough, it's not all outrage, it's like 50-50. There's a lot of people pissed off and a lot of people supporting him. So uh, I guess I'll just get into some of the videos that are pissed off with him and... Um, just contribute my two cents like I've been doing and sorry about the fact that this is the fourth video in a row on Islam but I mean it's really it's not dying the conversation is not gonna die anytime soon and I'm not just gonna bow out just cuz I've done three videos on it so if you're getting sick of the videos my apologies but I don't know I mean I, may, I might even do a fifth video we'll see where the conversation shifts from here on out um, okay two minutes in I should get to the ten point okay so yeah video start off I mean People in their responses to him are still calling him Islamophobic. I mean, they're actually still using this fucking word. And I'm sorry, but you guys, you can't have this word. Okay, it's an inherently contradictory word. Because as we all know, phobia is an irrational fear of someone. Of something, rather. Um, and if you're going to use this argument that, it's, that, he is, that he has an irrational fear of it, well, you're going to have to demonstrate what's irrational about it. Okay? Because, I mean, if you're a homosexual or a woman... Um, yeah, just the term Islam and what it represents, it has, I mean, it can justifiably so give you a reason to be fearful of it. So, I mean, Pat Condell doesn't have to be a homosexual or a woman in order to identify with that fear as a, you know, humanitarian or whatever the fuck he wants to call himself. So, um, yeah, it's just a bullshit word. You guys need just come up with some sort of a new thing to describe an irrational fear of uh, things pertaining to that religion because the word Islam isn't gonna do it. So yeah, maybe maybe come up with a uh, peaceful Muslim phobia, okay? Or uh, moderate Muslim speaking out against Sharia law phobia, okay? Something like that. But you gotta, but if you're gonna take the label Islam and connect it with the word phobia, I'm sorry, you can't have that, okay? It's just it's f flat on its face. It's bullshit. Um, and there was an accusation I heard that a couple of accusations calling him xenophobic. Okay, so I'll just link to a video in which he. Um, starts out his video denouncing all the bullshit supporters he's been having who are supporting him from what it appears to be xenophobic reasons, okay? And he pretty much told, told them all to fuck off. So why would he do that? Why would he alienate a bunch of his uh, supporters uh, for being xenophobic if he was also xenophobic himself? I mean, it's just bullshit. Um, and I did see Ujama Flipper's video just, uh, just before I did this one. And he, one of his points was that Condell should talk about other stuff in America because you know Condell brought up America specifically and you know I mentioned BP or other kind of bullshit you know the oil spill stuff and I mean everybody agrees on the oil spill I haven't heard a single person come on and start defending BP okay so what's the point of someone who's got uh, over a hundred thousand subscribers talking about BP and wagging his finger at them when this is already a dead issue I mean we know nobody's nobody's supporting them okay and chances are if you do a video like this bitching about BP with that many subscribers you're bound to get a lot of people a lot of ignorant people talking about how we should boycott BP and we all know that's not gonna end up being uh, a service okay anything good for the majority of the people who tend to be consumers of those products um, because we know what happens when businesses like these uh, end up um, 
when there's people trying to boycott them. So no, it's it's a stupid topic to talk about. This is a good enough topic because this is really, like I said, I mean, there's a lot of split opinion. So someone with that many subscribers should try to generate discussion on it because there's actually going to be people disagreeing. Um, and um, let's see what else did he talk about? Okay, yeah. So look, obviously he did make some slip ups. Okay, he did. He said that the mosque is going to be built a few yards away from the um, you know ground zero. And yeah, it's not a few yards, it's a few fucking city blocks. So yeah, that was a slip up. But I mean, it really is nitpicking to, to focus on it. I mean, the only reason I'd focus on it is if, you know, maybe he said, said that it's a few yards despite knowing that it's a few city blocks. So he was being propagandist on purpose. Um, I don't think that's the case. I think he simply just didn't read into it enough. And um, so yeah, I mean, if he, if he simply didn't read into it enough and he made the slip that way, I mean, that's just really nitpickery to make a big deal out of the fact that he said yards as opposed to city blocks. Um, but we'll never know, I guess, so, moot point. Um, and the other thing, yeah, I mean, it was, I, I laughed too a bit when he started boasting about individual liberties. And what essentially he is talking about is, yeah, the, the guy who wants to go ahead with this project, this building of the mosque project, um, he does own that property. I mean, this is sort of private property. Um, but that, that also brings up this question is, are we trying to stop it legally or are we trying to stop it through um, some sort of a protest ethical movement type thing? Um, and I think it's from, I mean, all indications point to the majority of people aren't trying to ban it. The majority of people are trying to stop it through, um, you know, just public outrage sort of thing. So that also gets to be a little shifty too. Um, and we need to look at the bigger picture though, because I mean, we don't, there's been this argument that if you, Basically, the, just the whole outrage is silly on its face because, especially in, you know, atheist circles, because atheists don't tend to view this whole land thing as uh, sacred. So the idea that we would be outraged that a mosque would be built right next to an event, well, a ground zero where this event took place, uh, which pretty much resulted in 3,000 lives being lost due to what could be very well argued Islamic ideology playing a big role. Um, you know, the idea that we would connect the fact that it's land and there's a mosque right next to it, um, it, an argument can be made that, you know, we're sort of being theists about it. But I don't think that's true. I mean, if somebody, you know, if you have an immediate family member die or a wife or, you know, so, someone who's close to you, um, and somebody comes and completely, you know, disrespects their grave, spits on it, pisses on it, shits on it, um, you know, and if, there's nothing... You don't have to feel that the land is sacred in order to be pissed off. You just have to realize that, yeah, okay, the person is disrespecting uh, this event and what happened here. So it's just bullshit to associate that with some, some sort of a theistic mindset. Um, because, I mean, I doubt that... I, I mean, I'm going to go on a limb and say that 99% 90, of atheists who don't have a single spiritual bone in their body, um, if a loved one of theirs were to die, and if someone were to completely decimate the grave just out of, out of petty spite, um, yeah, you, would, you probably would be outraged. Um, or not even petty spite, just because you might think, you, you know, you might be well-intentioned, and you might think that pissing on the grave is a good thing. Um, but still, it, it doesn't matter. The, the intentions, if they're based on false pretenses, they don't matter one fucking bit. Um, so yeah, it's just a bullshit argument. Um, and I mean, just, I just again, I'm just pulling my hair out every time I watch these videos because, I mean, do we not remember what took place just a couple of years ago? I mean, do we not remember Fuck Islam Week? I mean, apparently we don't. I mean, things, I mean, this Draw Mohammed thing is fucking nothing. During fuck Islam week, people would spit on the Quran, they would piss on the Quran, they would shit on the Quran, they would do, I mean, really disrespectful things, and yet this outrage did not exist. I mean, the outrage may have been a tiny small percentage of atheists. Um, and yet now, when some rather popular, I mean really popular, 100,000 subscribers range type users, type popular, um, start making some sort of loose commentaries, um, the, the outrage is just enormous. So, I mean, the, the term group thing gets thrown around quite often, and I don't want to throw it around, but, jeez, I mean, it does really look like group thing. I mean, where the fuck were you people? Even six months ago when there was all these videos going around, I mean, I couldn't escape it. Every time I logged on, I saw one of my freaking subscriptions make a video about, uh, you know, 
why Muslims fear laughter or some other sort of categorical thing, but there was no outrage back then. Uh, what Muslims fear most, two dots, laughter. That was the video. So where the fuck were you, all you people back then? It was a categorical statement saying, all Muslims fear laughter. Oh my fucking God. Let's start up some hysteria over it. I mean, really, bullshit. Bullshit all around. Um, so yeah, sorry about the rant, but I mean, it's just, it's just fucking lame. Lame on all accounts.